Hi, my beautiful, beautiful mermaids and mermen. It is B. I am back and welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, wow, Pisces, you got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Everybody does, but um, it's going to be an interesting uh, August, so to speak. So, this is the uh, Terrascope reading for Pisces from July 23rd, 24th to about August 23rd, 24th. Now I am recording this on the 26th and um, some of these energies may have already transpired for some of you and for some of you it has not transpired yet, but it could. These are all about potentialities as they relate to the planetary alignments. So this is just a general reading. Take that for what it is worth. Uh, this may apply to some of you all the time, and this may apply to all of you some of the time, you know, throughout this month. So I would just like to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers out there for all of your likes and your shares, and all the viewers, actually. You guys are absolutely awesome. In the last past month, I've already received an additional 2,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you also for all of your support as it relates to the Be Great series and the um, Be Weeklies. I have gotten an excellent... Um, you know, response on those particular offerings. And because I have, I will go ahead and continue doing those for you um, in between the monthly readings. Now, as it relates to the Be Great series on spiritual leadership, um, I want to give a big shout out to one of my clients out there, Tom. Uh, we had a reading, and after this reading, we had dialogue. And this dialogue between the both of us prompted this inspiration for the first episode of the Be Great series on trusting yourself. So I would like to give a big thank you to Tom for being part of that inspiration for the first episode for the Be Great series. All right, guys, what have we got going on for August 2015? Like I said, this is for the time frame from July 23rd to about August 23rd, but you can consider it the August 2015 reading, okay? And that is how it will be titled. But most appropriately, this is for the energies as they commence when the sun ingresses into another sign. And at the present time, the sun is in beautiful, exuberant, prideful Leo, all right? So when the sun is in this particular, um, in this particular area of, of the chart, in this particular sign, it goes through the filter of Leo, and it is at home in Leo. So in this particular case, whatever house is affected regarding your solar chart, it is going to bring with it elements of the Leo personality, which would be exuberance, pride, um, deep caring, and you know, uh, protecting the clan, and and that type of thing. So, um, so just take that for what it is worth. But let's get started, Pisces, shall we? All right. For the last past three days, the sun has been in Leo, and for you, it is in your sixth house of daily duties, errands, and health. This is awesome, Pisces. A lot of you are embarking on a new health regime. Many of you are considering detox. Many of you have already detoxed. Those of you that prior to this where um, we have had monthly readings where you have been struggling with addictions, you are starting to cross that finish line. You are starting to turn that corner. You are saying enough is enough. I need to get myself healthy because my worth is at work, my worth in my relationship is all about my health. When I feel healthy, my entire life is better. So for you Pisceans out there that have been struggling with addictions, you are ready to get rid of that particular monkey on your particular back. You are ready to say, it's time to take you to the zoo because that's where you belong and I no longer want to have any part of this. So good for you, Pisces. Actually, um, as you guys know, I am a Pisces and I actually am detoxing at the moment. So 
I detoxed for the last past two or three days and now I'm actually going to be doing um, clean eating and carb cycling. So there you go. And I'm bringing the Leo side out of it because that's the exuberant and I'm so excited about it and everything else. And you know, I'm, I'm not doing here a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm just letting you know, I just basically woke up one morning and I said, I'm done drinking Diet Coke. You know, Diet Coke was making me puffy and I need to stop. And I stopped and I'm not as puffy anymore. <laughs> So that it could be a small thing, okay? But for me, I had a Diet Coke addiction, okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. So, um, so I had to let that go, and I had to work through that. And I had to say, you know, kind of like, enough is enough. I need to be filling my body with nutrients and fueling my body as opposed to bringing it down and being addicted to that feeling that it gives me instead of, you know, being filled with the health that clean water and um, you know fruit juices and vegetable juices give me okay so that's just kind of like how it transpired for me all right so that's where your focus is gonna be also um, with errands and with daily duties at work you are shining okay people are taking notice of you as a leader of the pack, as the uh, king of the jungle or queen of the jungle, so to speak, you have lioness or lion abilities right now as it relates to your daily duties. So you are shining like the star you are. You have been getting prepared with all the planetary alignments up to this point. Now it's time to walk the talk, Pisces. Get ready. The spotlight is going to be on you. Venus is, sta Venus is stationed retrograde on the 25th. Now I am recording this on the 26th. And so Venus has already stationed and is already um, embarking on its retrograde phase in your house from your seventh house back to your sixth house. This is beautiful. This is just beautiful. When Venus retrogrades out of the seventh house, it, it touched on your seventh house for about a, a week, week and a half or so, and it was in Virgo. Okay, you were getting really particular on what it is you require out of a partnership. You were really starting to put your needs and your desires out there, whether it was a partnership with work or whether it was a partnership with um, with romance. Okay, you were starting to just lay it down on the line and say, "You look if you're not, if if you're on this boat, just like I said last month, you are either on." you know, ship Pisces, and I'm the captain, or you're off, okay? And it doesn't mean that Pisces are, you know, these dictators. It's not about that. It's just about you have so much to offer, so much to give. You give selflessly all the time. Most of you do. Not all of you, but most of you do. And those of you that are working, giving selflessly, deserve to be able to put down on paper what it is you deserve back what it is you're not you're you're done just giving for the sake of giving you're giving to people who deserve it okay if people do not deserve it they're gone and for those Pisceans out there that are riding on the coattails of other people and take take taking and not giving I guarantee you with the planetary alignments that are coming up now, the scales will be balanced once again. The message to Pisces probably for the next three, well, I'm going to say two to three years is balance, commitment, and fairness. And if you are trying to get one over on somebody, it will not work. Get yourself straight. Get on ship Pisces that is positive, loving, giving, and hardworking, and you will see land when you dock that is more beautiful than you have ever seen before. Okay? So there you go with that. 
So it goes from your seventh, uh, backing out of your seventh. So you may have had, um, or are about to have, uh, some uh, love partners from your past contacting you again. Okay, it is your decision on whether or not you want to embark on that particular path again, but know this. You are a changed Pisces. You have expectations. You are no longer going to be a doormat. Make sure that they understand that. Okay, that is very, very important. Then Venus goes retrograde back into your sixth house. And this is what I love because with, with um, Venus going retrograde in your sixth house, it goes back into your house of daily activities, health, everything else. You are reassessing everything. You're reassessing your diet. You're reassessing your errands. You're reassessing your work life, your duties at work. All of that, okay? You are seeing how can I bring more love and nurturing to myself in these areas? Well, I'll tell you right now, Pisces, sticking up for yourself is a first good start or a good first start, okay? I don't know why my bang is doing this. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, so there you go, okay? You have the tools to re-empower yourself. Once you do this, while Venus is retrograde, use this as an opportunity. Do not go out and get plastic surgery. Do not go out and do any of that. Venus retrograde rules apply. Don't do anything as it relates to a new wardrobe or a new beauty makeover or anything like that. When it's retrograde, it's coming from the inside. Change your inside to reflect the exuberance and the beauty and the, and the light on the outside, okay? I would highly recommend a detox if any of you um, are deciding to embark on a detox because I just love it. And right now I'm going through the phase of the third day where you can see all the ick and the gunk just kind of coming out. You know, you've got this little bit of a glow on the face and on the skin, but it's like it's this last push of all of this, these toxins that are coming out and it is just the most awesome feeling in the world and I should have done it earlier and I didn't but I am so darn glad that I'm doing it now so thank you Venus for kicking my behind to reassess this issue in my life to be able to detox and get myself in a better frame of mind as well as um, a healthier body you know because our soul is encapsulated by our body and our body is the home of our soul okay so make both of them shine all right so this will also allow you to reassess issues as it relates to your work duties as well once venus starts going direct again in the sixth house you are going to glow you are going to shine you are going to have people that are just going to be in love with you at work they are going to want to partner with you they are going to want to be with you they are going to want to talk to you because there is something about you that is just so mesmerizing. It's almost like you are going to become the addiction for everybody else. It is just the weirdest thing when, when um, Venus is going uh, direct in your sixth house. So take advantage of it, Pisces. We have Pluto going retro in your 11th house. Pluto is in Capricorn. Pluto going retrograde is all about taking energy that is from the outside and bringing it to the inside, okay? So in this particular case, Pisces, Pluto being in the 11th house, the 11th house is all about hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, friendships, and networking. You have gone through this uh, massive transformation as it relates to your friends, your who is on t you know team pisces who is on you know who is docking onto ship pisces who's going to sail away with you on your spiritual journey on your life path who is it that had the ability to appreciate you for what you bring to the table and now you are recognizing that and you are saying i gave my love willingly and without condition to all 
And now I choose who gets on board ship Pisces. Because I only have so much energy because I just realized that loving myself is just as important as loving other people. Who made the cut Pisces and who didn't? This is what a Pluto retrograde in this 11th house is doing for you. It is helping you to identify who comes along and who stays behind as far as your friendships, as far as your networks, as far as your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, and your goals. Some of you had a hope, wish, dream, or goal earlier on a couple of years ago. You wanted to create this change. Maybe you wanted it done your way. Maybe you were the recipient of that which could not be controlled and you felt like a ship being tossed upon the ocean. You are now being armed with self-empowerment to make the decision yourself. That hope, wish, dream, or goal that I had, I wanted to be a CEO at the business that I work for. What are you seeing, Pisces? You're realizing that you can be the CEO of your own business. That is what you're realizing. Potentially. Okay. So this is how Pluto retrograde happens when it is in your 11th house. And I've talked about this before. If you guys need um, more insight on the outer planets going retrograde or direct, just watch the July video again. I go over it in detail. Okay, so let's keep going. Saturn is retrograde direct in Scorpio on August 2nd. Okay, for you, this is your ninth house. There is some type of reassessment, renegotiation, release, review that you have done as it relates to foreign people, foreign lands, law, legal, con well, I don't want to say contracts, law, legal, politics. Okay, spirituality, occult, education, grad education, okay, even undergrad. But this is what the ninth house has to do with. You've been reassessing this, okay? Saturn has asked you, what do you want? Do you want this foreign person in your life? Do you want, or from a foreign culture, do you want this culture in your life? Do you want to go to grad school? What are you going to do about it? Do you want this divorce? Do you? Or are you trying to control a situation and make somebody else's life miserable? This is for the Pisces that swim under here. Not up here. Down here. There's two types. There is a massive dichotomy right now regarding Pisceans. Pisceans are ascending or they are descending at a very rapid rate. The same thing is happen to, happening to Geminis. What choice do you want to make? This is what you need to look at. If you are a Pisces that is descending, you still have time. Many Pisces are going through massive depression and loss and not knowing which way to point their ship. Make a decision, Pisces. 
do you want the divorce then by golly make a decision and sign the paper do you want to get married do you want a commitment do you want a relationship then by golly do what you need to do to bring that type of energy into your life I am sorry this is coming out so vehemently but the planetary energies that are coming through me right now are very strong and they're very aggressive so I am going to ask them respectfully to tone it down a little bit so I do apologize about that okay bottom line Pisces it's time to make a decision what do you want there you have it once Saturn goes direct in this house of education, politics, legal, law, foreign people, foreign places, foreign lands, the occult spirituality, it is going to say to you, Saturn energy is going to say to you, okay? You've made some decisions. You've thought about this. You, you're, you say you're ready to move forward. Let's try it out and let's see if it's got legs. Let's try it out and see if you mean what you say. I feel a great... sorrow right now for some Pisces out there that have lied and manipulated people the karmic culmination of this action will be delivered back to you tenfold if not in this lifetime in the next one you must get it right Pisces this is very important Mercury is in Cancer until the 24th, which was just a couple days ago, and then it's in Leo, where it is now. And um, on the 8th of August, it goes into Virgo. And for you, Pisces, you have Mercury or had Mercury in Cancer. And this for you is your fifth house of romance, creativity, and children. There was a lot of communication as it relates to romance, creativity, and children up till about two weeks ago okay so there is a lot of activity around that so say for example you're, you're Pisces and you're not seeing anybody and you know you get you got rid of a lot of you know friends that were bringing you down and partners that were using you and manipulating you and trying to control you this may manifest in your creativity your work okay so there may be have been a lot of communication as it relates to what you bring to the table okay it could be a lot of communications with your children if you have children even if you don't have children you could have had children like from extended family coming to visit you okay um, as a Pisces I had a great surprise a couple weeks ago and my sister decided to pop in and she brought um, the nieces and the nephew and I had a blast and it was so beautiful and I truly enjoyed it so um, this may be how this um, has affected you in this particular area of your chart now it is in Leo in your sixth house there is communication as it relates to your job your duties your health I just got done talking about detox like till I was blue in the face so um, there you go um, I am, and I have a, a Pisces sun and a Pisces moon. So let me tell you. So um, also, as it relates to um, you know your errands, 
okay? So you are communicating about your daily life. You are communicating at work about what your duties are. You may be in a position right now where you're at work and say you are, you know, deciding, okay, to become your own CEO in your own business. And you have maybe somebody, say you're a manager, or say you're a supervisor, you have somebody coming into your office and you're training them on how to take on your responsibilities because maybe unbeknownst to others, but known to you, you're ready to bolt. Okay, so that may be what's going on. That might be how that communication is coming forward. And on the 8th of August, you have Mercury going into its home sign of Virgo. Now, Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo, and Mercury loves Virgo. Mercury loves communication, especially with Virgo and Gemini, because they are analytical. I's are dotted, T's are crossed. Unfortunately, Gemini is a little bit flighty and all over the place, a little bright, shiny thing. Uh, Virgo is a lot more detailed, practical, uh, nose to the grindstone, stays focused, get her done, that type of an energy. Very nitpicky. Virgos can be very nitpicky. Um, it kind of comes across sometimes like they're nagging or they're, um, what do you want to tell me? Persnickety. They just gave me persnickety. So if any of you know any Virgos out there and you have assigned persnickety to them, that is probably the best way to describe them at this present point in time. Okay, so with uh, with Mercury in this particular area, then you now have this filter of Virgo, you know, nitpicky, um, detailed, eyes dotted, T's crossed, focus, nose to the grindstone, get her done. Okay, practical. That is what is going to be reflecting in your seventh house of communications. So your seventh house has to do with partnerships, romantic partnerships, and business partnerships. So this is where your communications are going to be exact. This is what I want. This is what I don't want. Either I get what I want, and if I don't get what I want, I'm going to make a decision from that piece of information. Pisces are getting to a point now where they are done. They are aligning their intuitive side with their practical side. They're grounding their intuition. They are not up in the air flighty rose-colored glasses. As you know, Neptune is still retrograde. So they're not all up in the rose-colored glasses and fantasy. They are all about the reality. They are all about the practical. How much is in my bank account? What, do, what is expected of me at this job if I decide to take it? If I decide to open up my own business, what is going to be required of me? If I decide to partnership with someone, what can I do and what will I not do? This is an awesome manifestation time for Pisceans. Use it. Piscean suns, Piscean moons, Piscean risings. I have even been getting confirmation that the north nodes are identifying with these videos as well. So if you have a north node in Pisces, you may want to consider watching this video. Mars is in Cancer until the 11th of August. So, you have Mars in Cancer, Mars is fire, Cancer is water. When they meet together, they turn into steam and confusion and frustration, okay? You can't really see anything, all right? So for you, Pisces, with Mars in Cancer, Mars being Cancer, Cancer is your fifth house. There could potentially be some type of aggression or confusion or fogginess around a partnership that has to do with romance or children or creativity. There is something that you are trying to research to get a clear indication on how to move forward. Okay? Now, after it goes out of the fifth house, it goes into your sixth house. And Mars in the sixth, and Mars is going to be in Leo, 
and you are going to be an unstoppable force because now you are armed with practicality. You are armed with information. You've made the right decisions. You've surrounded yourself with positive people. You have taken that risk to put yourself out there. And because you've done this, you can now celebrate with passion whatever service offering you have for the in, for the global whole if you are blogging utilize this energy if you've got your own website utilize this energy if you if you're at work and you are you've got a project that you're working on utilize this energy sell it use the leo filter to make yourself the king or the queen of the jungle this is what you can do remember you must do so diplomatically fairly and above board if you go into the avenue of manipulation and lying it will not serve you well it will bite you in the future don't go there Pisces you know better for those of you that are manipulating, are lying, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. For those of you that are in that mind space, cut it out. They just told me to give you an example. I don't know if there have been any of, uh, any of you out there that have seen this commercial where there is this guy and I send him prayers. I know the decision was his, but um, it is what it is, and I wish him healing. He had a tracheotomy. I think that's what you call it. And he smoked for years. I mean, one, two packs a day for years. And when you're in that position, you're doing it. And you're seeing that, you know, it's it's kind of an addiction, but it, it, it takes you away from stress. It helps you forget. It helps you to, to escape. Okay? Go into that little world that you go into that only you've created. Only certain people are allowed in your world. When you are in a situation where at the time you do not see what exists in the future and you get a wake-up call, and I just heard for some of you this actually is your wake-up call. This video is your wake-up call. And, and I would never put myself in a position to say that, you know, do what B says to do. Um, I, I would never do that. You have free will. You have all of your power within you to do whatever it is you want so if you want to continue to drink if you want to continue to smoke that is your choice but for some of you this is a wake-up call if you have an opportunity to watch that commercial or if you've seen it before this man who at the time believed that he was just escaping reality getting rid of the stress in his life by smoking and just saying you know what damn it all I'm gonna die someday anyway and then he is now now he has now a hole in his neck in a completely different lifestyle because of a choice that he made in the past this is what I am saying Pisces if you are below board fix it now the universe has got so many blessings for you it is unbelievable get out of the negative get out of the addictions stop lying stop manipulating stop coercing walk your path live your truth treat others as you would want to have them treat you change the energy Pisces it's time We have Jupiter in Leo, and then it enters Virgo on the 11th of August. This is beautiful, Pisces. You have got Jupiter in Leo. Jupiter is blessing you, giving you giving you blessings and gifts with your health, your errands, 
your work duties, some of you are going to have this gift delivered to you at the 11th hour, which means within this next month, some of you are getting promotions. Some of you are getting healthier, kicking a bad habit. Some of you are um, changing your daily duties that reflect your beauty, your love, your kindness, your compassion. People are looking at you and saying, I want more of it. The 11th hour blessing is upon us, Pisces. Take advantage. Get yourself right. It's time. Your energy is so freaking strong right now. It is like ridiculous. I mean, it's not even just my energy. It's like all of your energy is just like ridiculous. So anyway, then it goes into your 7th house. And the 7th house is all about partnerships, romantic partnerships, business partnerships. So you are in a position right now where you will be blessed, given abundance, luck, with romantic partnerships and business partnerships. Pisces, the planets are aligning for you to be absolutely on fire, okay? Do what you need to do. Co-create with the universe. Make it happen. I know that some of you are in limited circumstances. Change one thing. Change two small things. Change your perception. Tell the universe you want to realign the energies in such a manner that it will serve you and the good of all. We have the full moon in Aquarius on the 31st of July and this is in your second house. Pisces, there is a culmination or there is an ending as it relates to your second house matters. This is a blue moon. I have had two visions regarding the blue moon. The last one that I had, it was in a field. There was a, a fence, like an old wooden fence. And that old wooden fence had the blue moon behind it and that moon took up the entire screen like this. So I believe what universe was delivering to me to tell everyone is that this Aquarian full moon is going to be emotional and it is going to be significant in your second house. That is about value, self-value, and that is about finances, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. Okay, so that is where that energy is residing for you. There is a culmination. There is an ending. Some of you, for example, going through a divorce, you have had to go out. Say, say you weren't working. You've had to go out and you've had to get a job. You may be getting a job. You may have to get a job. This is how this may be manifesting for you as a culmination. An ending of one source of income to another source of income coming in from a different avenue, okay? So instead of coming in from your spouse, it is now coming in from a job that you actually go to, okay? That might be the how this is working out for you. This also has to do with self-value. And I don't think I need to repeat this. I mean, we've been talking about self-value this entire time with these planetary alignments. So just, you know, use it appropriately for what um, it particularly applies for you. We have a new moon in Leo on the 14th of August, and this is in your eighth house. This eighth house is all about joint finances. It's all about intimacy. It's all about deep-seated issues. So there is a new beginning as it relates to joint finances and or intimacy in this particular area of your solar chart. So this new moon is where you set your intentions, okay? So you need to set your intentions on intimacy, on um, a, a spouse's income on uh, deep-seated issues. Light your candle, hold your prayer meditation, tell the universe what you want, not what you don't want. Tell them what you do want. Tell them, say, I want to have a relationship that has the intimacy within it 
so that we are a team and because of that we increase our dual value by supporting one another in our endeavors. That is how you may want to tell universe what it is you want to manifest as it relates to 8th house matters. The full moon on Pisces on the 29th of August. Now I do know that um, I am bringing up the 29th of August and it is outside the 23rd of August which is where this time frame, this range is for this reading. But it is important and the reason why it's important is because Pisces, this is a super moon in your sign on the 29th. You are positively aspected. You are going to be unstoppable. If somebody gets into an argument with you, they will not win. You know sometimes how a Pisces is like you get into a discussion and sometimes you leave, you go home and you cry. Because you feel like you had to be the martyr and you feel like you, you're always in this situation and why does this always happen to me? Guess what? Because you've been working on yourself, because you've been working on your value, because you've been working on your boundaries, because you are only giving your energy to those that deserve it, you win this time, Pisces. The other person is the one that's going to go home and cry. And that is not me saying that to be condescending to the other person within this conversation. That is not me saying this is the revenge that you're getting on this other person. It's not like that. Please understand, Pisces, how powerful you are at this full moon. In your sign, your identity. There is something coming to culmination or ending on this date or up to four to ten days later. Your very identity is going to change. Your very identity is going to end. If you're going through a divorce, you're going from uh, married status to single status. If you are going from um, single status and you meet somebody, I mean, you do have activity in your fifth house, or you did. So now you're exclusive. You're going from single status to exclusive status to married status. Okay? This is going to be an emotional full moon. Use it to your advantage. Stay positive. Do not get into the negative. Do not get into the gossip. Do not get into the lies. Do not get into any of that because the full moon will illuminate. It will deliver in four to ten days. Make sure whatever it is that you are wrapping up in that package, when it gets delivered back to you, it's something that you want. Okay? As you know, Neptune is retro. Uh, in your sign. Rose colored glasses have come off Pisces. It's time to take charge of your life. And if you want to hear more information on that, you can listen to the July video. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started on the monthly tarot scope side of it. Uh, this is a general reading, guys. If you want a more specific reading for you, you can contact me at www.psychicsoundsbyb.com and you can get uh, a scheduled personalized reading with me. Uh, they are $75 for a half hour. It's usually a half hour, 45 minutes, right around there. So I uh, just want to make you guys aware of that. Um, just go to the scheduling tab and schedule it uh, on my website. Now, again, like I said, general reading. Pisces sun, Pisces moon, Pisces riding, rising, possibly Pisces riding. Pisces, you might be riding somewhere, like riding on a horse, riding in a car, riding in a boat, or you have. Um, something about riding, R-I-D-I-G, R-I-D-I-N-G, riding. Thinking it's a horse, but anyway neither here nor there it's just what they popped in but um, Pisces rising and possibly Pisces north node so so just be aware of that particular type of energy okay let's get started what do we have for general energies for Pisceans for August 2015 general energies Pisceans general energies Pisceans general energies Pisceans general energies Pisceans General energies, Pisceans. 
There it is. What do we have for work and finance? Whoa. Work and finance, Pisces. What do we have for um, emotional life and love life for Pisces? Emotional life and love life. Is this? No. Emotional life and love life. Pisces. This one wants to come out. What do we have for health and wellness for Pisces? Health and wellness. This one's popping out. What do we have for the uh, spiritual advice? Spiritual advice for Pisces. Spiritual advice. Spiritual advice. There it is. What do we have for an obstacle? Obstacle, Pisces, that one. Okay. There was a card that was at the bottom of the pack and then it, it actually got left over there. So I'm just going to bring it up. Okay. So here it is. It's the Four of Cups. We're, we're going to see how this plays into it um, here in a little bit. But this card was like laying all by itself uh, when I did the shuffle. So um, in this particular case, it means that the Four of Cups um, are potentially going to be affecting you in August. And basically what this is, is you have got gifts from the universe that are being delivered to you. Do not look a gift horse in the mouth. This might be where the horse came in with the riding. If you're not physically riding on a horse, this could be the, because um, they speak in metaphors, do not look a gift horse in the mouth, Pisces. Don't. Okay? And that's, I'm just going to leave that right there. Okay? So what do we have for general energies for the Pisceans for August 2015? For general energies, Pisceans, you have the Ten of Swords. Guys, this is not a bad card. It is the end of difficulty. It is the end of um, uh, people stabbing you in the back. It is the end of um, emotional and intellectual turmoil. There is no more that can be done to you. You have gone through all the tests. You have gone through all the turmoil. You have gone through all of the, the pain. Your new horizon is dawning over here. It's over Pisces. If you're getting a divorce, your divorce is probably going to be final. You, your married life is now over. You are now single. If you were single and you met somebody, your single life is now over. You are in, a, an, in an exclusive relationship. This is all about your status. If you are in a work environment that is not serving you, that you feel like you is just drudgery, and you get a new promotion or you get a job, this is the end of being unemployed. This is the end of the job that wastes your energy. It is the end. This card means the end of a cycle. Okay, so we'll see how all this pans out. As far as that Four of Cups goes, um, again, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. If somebody comes to you and says, I've got a job uh, that I think that you would really, really be good at, but it may not pay as much as you want, you might want to consider it. Because the thing is, is it, it might end up being a lot more lucrative than it is at the beginning. So just, just take that for what it's worth. So what do we have for work and finance? The Page of Wands, Pisces. And this goes back to what I just said. Somebody is coming to you with a message. It is a message of passion. Somebody sees that you have great creativity. They want you to be on their team. Okay, They are ready to say, Pisces, get out of that job that does not serve you. Come on board with us. We want you on our team. Okay, It may not pay you know, six figures a year, like, you know, like you want, but it does pay enough for you to pay your bills and to have money set aside for savings and everything else. You know, Pisces do not look a gift horse in the mouth. Again, there is news that is coming regarding your finances and regarding work. And it's about your creativity. It is about your, um, your passion. Alternatively, this could be a person that is a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries that is giving you a message as it relates to your work, your work duties. Okay. Um, 
for those of you out there that are not employed, again, you may be getting a message from a friend that is saying, I've got the perfect job for you. Okay, again, the end of being unemployed, now you're employed. The end of um, you being married because your divorce is final, you're getting a message on your divorce being finalized. Okay, that is how this could pan out for some Pisces out there. What do we have going on for emotional life and love life for the Pisceans? Pisces, you have the Nine of Wands. Basically what the Nine of Wands is saying here, Pisces, is that even though you are spent, even though that you are tired, even though that you are absolutely beside yourself as it relates to whether or not you will ever have, you know, somebody come into your life again or, or love enter your life, do not give up. Give it one more shot. This guy is here. He's got the wounds. He's got the scars. He's got the baggage. He's got the walls that have been put up. But he is ready to try it one more time. He's ready to climb the final 20 feet to the summit of the mountain. Okay? So if you are a Pisces and you are ending, for example, you are ending a marriage and you are getting divorced and you get news of your divorce, do not give up on love. Do not think that you will never find somebody else again. It is there. Okay, for some Pisces out there, you've just got your guard up and you are not ready to get into another relationship. You are making people prove themselves and this is exactly how the planets are aligning for you Pisces. Make them prove themselves. Make them work for it. You are a gift just as they are a gift. Each person has to work for it. You know, there might be other reasons why your walls are up here, Pisces. There's something in your life that ended or whatever, but then there's some type of news coming in that's giving clarification to the situation. And because it gave clarification to the situation, now you are having to fight a battle again, but it may be of your own doing. So again, Pisces, this goes back to what I was saying at the beginning. Stay above board in everything that you do. You must do this. For those of you in a successful, loving, happy bond, you may be getting news regarding something going on within your relationship. And because of that news, there is a cycle that is ending. But because that cycle is ending, it is now putting you in a position of having to batten down the hatches. So for example, Pisces, you could have been, you are happily married with somebody and you find out you're pregnant. It is the end of being a husband and a wife. It is the message of creativity and passion and through creativity and passion creating a child. Now you are about to be a mother and a father. And because of that you are having to batten down the hatches. You are preparing and awaiting the arrival. Okay? And this goes back to the Four of Cups again. Do not look a gift horse in the mouth. This child is a gift. Do not look at this child as a burden. You must get that energy out of your mind. Okay? For those of you that are are older, maybe retired, or, or something like that as far as partnerships, business partnerships, uh, uh, romantic partnerships. This could be you just having your guard up. And rightly so, Pisces. Rightly so. You are protecting what you already have because you've been through the battles and you've learned the lessons. Okay, this is not a bad thing. So what do we have for health and wellness? Judgment, Pisces. Here we go. This is exactly, God dang it. This is amazing how these cards come out. 
for many of you this video was a call to batten down the hatches the video was the message to end the addiction or the alcohol the horn of Gabriel is sounding it is time look at things that are negative and quit doing them judgment time is upon us normally this is arising from the ashes you ended something a cycle ended you are now rising you are getting the call from the angel Gabriel no coincidence that you have like a red cross here and that is medical okay it's also Swiss I think or maybe it's a white cross on a red background or a white I don't know what it is but some of you may be going to Switzerland or there's something about Switzerland that's being discussed for Pisces I don't know that that, that may be what's going on but in this particular case it is time for you to own and be accountable for the actions that you have taken Pisces okay you have been cut you have been bruised you have been um, put through the ringer and you may have done this to yourself Pisces you now have all the scars and all of the bruises to show for it and now you're getting the message from either this video or some friend or some counselor or, or somebody that is saying stop it is time to stop many of you have already heard the call you are embarking on a new beginning you are at the horizon you are at the yellow horizon that you are looking at in this particular um, card you are you were in this black coffin hidden and now you are rising from it healthier happier more in control of your own life your own will if you are in the negative in any way shape or form Pisces if you are depressed if you are um, lying if you are manipulating if you are coercing if you are um, trying to control others okay they're telling me to tell you this and I don't know why this is so directed towards the Pisces out there that may be doing these things so for Pisces that are ascending and you've you've gotten past all of this congratulations I just want to give you a big kudos on that for moving forward in your life but this message really is applying to those that are having difficulty getting out of the the um, the abyss of of lifelessness so I am about to tell you something because they told me to tell you karma's a bitch Pisces if anybody knows karma it's you if you are in the negative if you are lying if you are manipulating people if you did something that was so low that people could not even imagine ever doing it you better come clean and you better come clean quick because that karma is going to come back to you 20 fold okay you guys are being prepared to start over this is a big deal the judgment card is a major arcana card it is saying clean the slate surround yourself with positive energy stop giving all of your love and energy to people that do not deserve it it is killing you it is bruising you once you do this you will get the message of passion love and creativity to start over with a clean slate 
with boundaries in place so that you protect yourself from ever getting hurt again or at least lessen the probability of you getting hurt again because you're truer to yourself now than you have been in the past the old Pisces is dead period what is your spiritual advice Pisces Pisces you have the insight again this goes back to this video and at the beginning when I was talking about how this is your message this is your call to arms to stop the addiction to stop the cycle this video itself is insight for you at the present time and again I'm not coming across like you know be bees and know-it-all that's not this is exactly what they're telling me to tell you that for some of you out there like 10 or 15 percent of you out there this particular video is insight for you in order to be able to move forward and stop the cycle it's time Saturn is about to go direct in your ninth house of spirituality education foreign people foreign lands and then it will go into Sagittarius which is your house of career and status get it right now Pisces very important the insight is there it may be coming from someone else it may be coming from a counselor it may be coming from an attorney it may be coming from a, an accountant it may be coming from a friend a co-worker you are being given insight that goes back to that four of cups that was kind of sitting there do not look a gift horse in the mouth somebody is giving you some type of insight or some type of information that you can use to arm yourself to make yourself stronger and more um, more ready for the future to embrace it with arms wide open okay what is your potential obstacle? Your potential obstacle, Pisces, is inner peace. You are going through a major death and transformation. Not physical, just a metaphorical death and transformation. you don't know what lies on the other side you're apprehensive your boundaries are up most of the boundaries have been put up through love of yourself but some of these boundaries are there from fear release the fear of Pisces release the fear of a new beginning if you fear a new beginning you have inner turmoil you do not have inner peace embrace inner peace is what this is telling me that your challenge is embracing inner peace let go of the fear Pisces it's time heal yourself let others help you to heal what has been going on in your mind and in your body it's time for you to move forward you have planetary um, support in everything. A new beginning. You have massive planetary support. You must embrace the new beginning, Pisces. Let the past go. You do not necessarily need to let people in the past go, but let those energies that affected you, hurt you, made you fearful, manipulated you, let that energy go. It's time to start over. The judgment card is one of the most powerful cards in the deck for starting over, hearing the call, and healing yourself. many of you have already embarked on this journey and some of you are about to embark on it 
Use this time to your advantage, Pisces. It is important. Okay, Pisces, there we go. There is uh, the reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and possibly also the North Node for August of 2015. I hope you really enjoyed this reading. I certainly enjoyed giving it to you. Thank you again to all of my subscribers out there, and thank you so much for liking and sharing. I appreciate that. And with that said, I am going to be signing off here. Um, expect the Be Weeklies and the Be Great, uh, the second episode of the Be Great series to be posted here shortly within the next 10 to 15 days. I wish you the best, much love, much light, and much luck to you, Pisces, in August. The divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.